From the secret bunker in Southeast Georgia today, welcome back to the No Weed Geek. Today we have movie news and potentially one of my favorite characters in all of Star Wars. It's Lord Vader. Let's get to this. This is uh, pretty exciting, I think. This comes from Bounding Into Comics by John Trent. Star Wars rumor, Darth Vader series being discussed for Disney+. Plus. And there he is. I mean, Vader is got to be one of my all-time absolute favorite characters in all of Star Wars. We've got the back history filled out. We understand his motivations or Anakin's as he made his journey to the dark side. And now Disney's thinking about a streaming series all about Darth Vader, sort of, asterisk, let's keep going. This rumor comes from Mikey Sutton at Geekosity Mag, who claims the show will not only explore Darth Vader, but will also delve into the world of the Sith Order. Sutton goes on to detail that the show will be set following the events of the original Star Wars film. He also indicates that the show could feature flashbacks of when Vader had not turned to the dark side and was still Anakin Skywalker, with Hayden Christensen reprising his role for past sequences during the prequel era. So far, so good. I mean, again, Disney's track record with Star Wars has been less than stellar. However, The Mandalorian, I can't deny, is a seemingly worldwide hit. And so if you have similar showrunners, but I don't know whether or not we do. There are a few other problems, but let's keep going into the story. Along with the possibility of Christensen appearing in the show, Sutton also details that the show will introduce a live-action version of Dr. Aphra. Now, I don't know a lot of history of Dr. Aphra, but I do have the Black Series toy. I thought the figure looked great and the two evil droids look fantastic. Now, as far as it being a Darth Vader series or a Dr. Aphra series, let's look at it this way. Disney has a track record of strong female leads, not strong male in the last several films. I'd say the last five films. Between episodes 7, 8, and 9, the Solo series, in which Han really, I don't even think, was the star of that movie, and also Rogue One, uh, this to me fits Disney's mold and certainly seems like it has some credibility, where perhaps she ends up being the star of this series, but draws older fans in with Vader, and I can kind of get behind that. He explains, sources add that Dr. Aphra, introduced in Marvel Star Wars comics, will be under Vader's employ while simultaneously trying to plot against him. Aphra is going to be an anti-hero in the gray area between good and bad. So this is exactly what I just said. What I think is happening is that this is going to be marketed as a Vader series, but is actually going to center on Dr. Aphra, and I'm actually okay with that. I understand the reasoning. If the general audience doesn't know who Dr. Aphra is, it makes sense to pull people in with Vader and then pivot. The only thing that I would recommend, not that they care, is that they don't overmarket as a Vader standalone and have it be something else. That worked with The Mandalorian being really about Baby Yoda. But how long is that going to last? We'll see with season two just about to hit. If they do something like this with Vader and then Vader's barely even in the series, you might get real strong ratings at first, but if she's not a likable, relatable character, then the series will be doomed to nothing. Aphra was introduced in Marvel Comics' Darth Vader number 3 back in 2015 when she was recruited by Darth Vader after she'd been captured trying to steal the Triple Zero personality matrix from Quarantine World 3. By the way, Triple Zero is like C-3PO uh, in Nightmare on Elm Street. He's all like dark and he's got like these, these buzz saws and torture tools on his hands. Freaking amazing. And if they put that in the show, I'm in. I'm in automatically. The article goes on to talk more about Dr. Aphra's origin, and it's a great article. Please go to Bounding Into Comics to read this for yourself. It concludes by saying it also explores the relationship between Darth Vader and Dr. Aphra as the two perform numerous missions together, and Vader specifically uses her and her capabilities to build his new own empire. So what do you make of this? Is this a series that you want to see? Is this something that you're interested in more Darth Vader? Do you think Disney has really ruined Star Wars to the point where you don't care? Or does a different twist, adding a character from Marvel Comics into a live action series, does that make sense? And is that something you want to see? I'd love to know your thoughts. Me, I'm in. I'm in on the story of Dr. Aphra. I want to learn more about it. 
I'm also in seeing the new droids. I mean, this to me is an all around winner, especially if it's not just dark, if it's not just the evil Darth Vader series. And they actually go about it as something where they go into some backstory and actually explains this character's arc on how she goes from being bad to potentially good. So for me, I say bring it on, but again, would love to get your thoughts. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of the NWG. As always, I would love to hear from you in the comments. And if you could do me a little favor, this channel's brand new. I just got my 41st subscriber and almost at 1,000 views, which is fantastic. Again, brand new. So if you want to help me out, if you can just subscribe, share, talk about the channel, send it to your friends, I would greatly appreciate it. More voices are needed in this space. Let's grow in this together. I thank you so much, and we'll see you back here again real soon. This vehicle is leaving the station. Please hold on. Please move to the center of the vehicle and away from the doors.